Hi folks, so I'm just going to admit it right out front, this is not one of my better battles. Uh, it was recorded about three weeks ago, um, and I just make a bunch of really serious mistakes. Um, but I still think there's a lot to learn from bad battles, so I'm posting it here, and if you don't want to watch, go ahead and stop watching, and I'll understand. Anyway, this is against uh, the Ricardo Toddy. Um, I'm, there should be a link to his channel in the description and in the annotations. Um, this is just another person I met on Aber's Asylum. Anyway, uh, he leads off with a Crustal, and I go ahead and lead off with my Gardevoir, and at this point you should know what's coming. Um, I very nicely trace his sturdy. Um, I really love Trace's ability. Um, but I go ahead and set up my magic coat, expecting him to uh, use Stealth Rocks or Spikes. And indeed, he used Stealth, he used stealth Rocks, which get bounced right on back. Um, and But here's really the problem with this lead. I mean, I can keep on magic coating, but there's really nothing else I can do. I mean, he can just keep on Stealth Rocking, and there's nothing I can do. I just gotta hope that he's gonna attack. Um, because as soon as he does attack, um, that's going to activate my red card and eject it from the battle. Um, not that that really helps too much, but it does help a little. Uh, anyway, uh, that is not good for me that uh, Sazendora came out. Sorry, it's not Sazendora anymore, it's uh, Hydreigon. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch into my um, Mind Shao, uh, which is going to take the expected Dark Pulse uh, as if it were nothing. Um, well, I mean, it still hits pretty hard, but it is resisted. Um, yeah, Hydrogion is kind of amazing. Anyway, it's probably, uh, choiced in some way, so it's not surprising at all that he switched. Um, and I was expecting that switch, uh, so I go ahead and use U-Turn with my, um, with my Mind Shao to get it out of the battle. Uh, yeah, I, I think he was thinking that I would high jump kick which um, which would have probably killed me, uh, considering it would have just gone right through that Gengar. Anyway, I go ahead and send out my Foop, um, and I go ahead and go for the Sucker Punch, um, kind of hoping that it would take it out, because uh, Gengars aren't that bulky, but it survives with just a little tiny bit of HP, which infuriates me so much. And now Gengar uses Hidden Power, uh, and it's some kind of super effective Hidden Power, probably Fire, uh, and that is going to be enough to take me out. Unfortunately, um, I guess it could be Hidden Power Rock, but I don't see Hidden Power Rock too often. Anyway, that's going to be enough to, um, luckily he has the Life Orb, and so, uh, Life Orb Recoil took him out. So both of us have lost a Special Sweeper now. Um, I go ahead and send out my Ikea, my, um, my Chandelure, thinking that he would send out his, uh, Jirachi. Um, and that scares him away, and so he goes ahead and switches. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure I fire blast here, just not wanting to over predict. And indeed I do. Um, and as you're about to see, it actually does a fair amount to this Rotom wash form. Uh, and I don't think that was a crit or anything. Yeah, it wasn't a crit or anything. So now I was expecting that this guy would be faster than me because it has higher base speed. Uh, so I go ahead and pull out. Um, and I go ahead and send in my Gardevoir. Uh, basically thinking that uh, I could pretty much wall it. Uh, I trace its levitate, which is nice if he decided to switch into an Earthquaker. Um, anyway, I get a little bit of hacks there. His Hydro Pump misses, um, but he's just regaining health. Uh, I go ahead uh, and uh, Rotom Wash uh, uses Pain Split, which doesn't really do much since we're at about approximately equal HPs. Anyway, I go ahead and use Grass Knot, not realizing that uh, Rotom Appliances don't have any more weight than a Rotom regular, so that's a pretty, pretty awful thing. Uh, if I do keep this Gardevoir around, which I don't think I will for too much longer, um, I'm almost certainly going to swap out uh, Grass Knot for something with a little bit more power, um, maybe even Energy Ball just because it'll, it does reliable base 80. Um, anyway, I, get a, I use Sunny Day here. Um, the reasons are kind of strange. Uh, I just figure that it would kind of nerf his power, and he doesn't have any strong fire types on his team, so I figured it might be a good idea. Here, I do not know why I went for the Grass Knot and not, um, say, uh, Healing Wish. Uh, I mean, this would have been the time to use Healing Wish. Uh, Gardevoir is basically dead, uh, but it is what it is, and I'm going to get taken out on this next turn. Uh, and that's, that's really sad, and I, I just played that really, really poorly. Um, 
So yeah, uh, so now I consider who I want to send in to take out that Rotom, and I decide that Puff is probably going to be pretty safe. I don't think he has the Hidden Power Ice, and even if he does, I should be able to survive the first turn um, because of my multi-scale. So I get off a nice Dragon Dance, uh, and then he goes ahead and uses Will-O-Wisp, um, which is going to burn me, but that's okay because I have the, um, the Lumberry. So uh, that's basically just a turn wasted for him, but it is going to force my hand because I'm pretty sure he's just going to keep on using Will-O-Wisp, and so I'm going to have to attack this turn rather than get off the second Dragon Dance. Um, so I'm hoping that Dragon Claw is going to be enough, um, especially since I don't think Rotom has the best defense, uh, but amazingly, it doesn't kill him. Uh, and Rotom survives with quite a bit of uh, def uh, HP, which is just really surprising to me. Hold on, I'm just going to look something up. Rotom... W, uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, so actually, uh, the Rotom forms have equal defense and special defense. Uh, anyway, uh, I cannot kill this thing to save my life, quite literally. Uh, I get it, I get down to like, maybe like one HP, but, uh, I'm burned, and this is just not good, and now he's pain splitting me to recover his HP, and my puff is pretty much useless, and I just completely screwed up here. Uh, there are so many things I should have done. And, uh, yeah, why did I Dragon Dance here? Uh, I really should have just pulled out, um, because every turn that goes by, uh, Rotom gets a little bit more HP back, um, and so now it's gonna go ahead and discharge, and I think that's actually gonna kill me at this point. Uh, no, no, it takes me down to 23 HP, but considering that I'm burned, I think the burn damage is now gonna kill me. Yeah, uh, so I just played that really, really foolishly, um, but it is what it is. Anyway, I go ahead and send out River, um, <clears throat> and I go ahead and use High Jump Kick, expecting it to take it out. But uh, what I realized in rewatching this battle is that it was pretty obvious that this guy is running some kind of max uh, uh, set with a lot of defense investment. So I really, I mean, consider how much damage uh, Resisted Fire Blast did from my Chandelure compared to these attacks. Uh, so I really should have actually sent Chandelure back in while the sunny day was still going on, and I could have probably killed it, and if I'd come in on a uh, Will-O-Wisp, I would have gotten a, fi uh, a Flash Fire boost. So that was really stupid for me, and it's going to cost me really dearly. Um, so anyway, uh, his Jirachi outspeeds my um, my riv uh, River, uh, my uh, Mind Shao, and uh, doesn't k kill me very luckily. Um, but I, now I know that it's scarfed because that's the only way it would outspeed my uh, my mind shell. I, unless I guess it was running a plus speed nature and max speed investment. But I mean, just based on the set, I think it's probably scarfed. Uh, anyway, uh, I do not kill his crustal with a high jump kick on the first uh, on the on the switch turn. But I do kill it on the next turn. I'm really lucky that none of these missed. Um, and I'm lucky that I've taken down another one of his Pokemon, and I'm lucky that he didn't get a chance to set up Stealth Rock. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna die this turn. Uh, oh no, I'm, I'll go ahead and pull back my rip, uh, my uh, Mind Shell. And I go ahead and send in Ikea, uh, hoping that whatever he attacks me with isn't gonna hurt too badly. Um, I, instead he used U-Turn, which uh, is not good. It breaks my Air Balloon, although I don't think he has anyone left who's going to, you know, use Earthquake or anything. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so out for him is, uh, Sazendora, uh, sorry, Hydreigon, and that's going to be a huge threat to me, so I go ahead and actually just fodder my, um, I just go ahead and fodder myself, uh, because I don't think I have anything that can take it, and so I'm kind of up against a wall here, and yeah, this isn't going particularly well at all. <clears throat> uh, so wait, that, that's actually interesting, it wasn't Scarfed, it has a life orb. Um, I wasn't exactly expecting that. Anyway, I go ahead and um, send out my HCHB, my Caracosta, which is going to be able to get off a very safe, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it's going to get off a very safe uh, shell break. Um, and he goes ahead and sends in uh, Rapushin, sorry, now called Conkeldur, which is the stupidest name ever. Uh, and this is going to be a huge problem for me because it carries Mock Punch. Uh, and I'm not worried about it outspeeding me, obviously, uh, but now that my defenses have fallen and my sturdy is broken, uh, this is just not going to be good for me at all, and I really don't think I can KO it in one hit. Um, although I certainly am going to try. Um, yeah, so he goes ahead and mock punches, and uh, luckily uh, Caracosta has 
pretty beastly defense, so even after a defense drop, I survive, uh, I survive one mock punch, as I was expecting. And I go ahead and use Earthquake, because a, a rock attack would have been resisted. Um, and it does a little bit over half, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, I'm going to use Aqua Jet on this next turn. I just don't think it's going to be enough to KO. Um, and indeed, as you're about to see, it isn't. Um, so I get him down to pretty low HP, but he's going to take me out with Mach Punch. And um, I, he's got that priority move, which is really, really devastating. Um, because my la I'm down to my last Pokemon at this point. It's my uh, Mind Shadow, who doesn't carry any priority moves. Um, because this isn't the lead set, it's, uh, although if I had Fake Out, I probably could have won this, uh, or at least KO'd his guy. Um, but Mach Punch is going to be enough to kill me, and I have lost the match. So I hope that was at least educational for you guys. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you thought, folks. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.